Charlie. Yeah, there's a ship thing. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Uh, let's all just relax. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? Let's go with relax. We're sharing. Let's all just relax. We just sat Don't down. Do Give the man a moment. Who's the host? I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. <laughs> He's probably cooking dinner Adjusting himself. Myself. Ah, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait. Nani? What? Why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Come. Suspicious. He must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. Because he up to mischief. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? That might be your best option. Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Um, reassuring. We're getting people. I'm reassuring. sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. Careless. This I'm careless. How? I don't want to get angry. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. The reason Guys, is you're going am to I die the here. I'm one who's getting really freaked out by this place, and by Mr. Dumet. As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. Is anybody else really there? That doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh, Lord. God, Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong I mean, with you? I mean, she's got a point. Just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Oops. Uh, the machine was broken. Yeah, machine the was broken. Is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We're just gonna sit here Sincere. and pretend oh. to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lana Entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, Snatched. here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. Y'all gonna rear ham on this man. I would like to toast to all of you. I don't want to be hostile. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the Mark. two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. Oh, everybody gets positive? Interested. And Aaron, who lost my cigarettes. Oh, yeah, Aaron, appreciative. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? positive relationship with everyone thank you all for your hard work then he turns around cheers. and dies and they all feel remorseful cheers to us mazel tov what we can get here can take the show to the next level jamie sure if we have time to get it all i mean y'all aren't going anywhere anytime yeah, soon yeah he totally heard us no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. Lord. What was that, Kate? 
Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first? Charles? Did we not? You're the boss. What? Thank okay, you. whatever. We're, we're... I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? Oh. Uh, uncertain. I'll be having a strong word. Authoritative, I guess. If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. By building positive uh, relationships. So possible, if they die, it would hurt them most. No mistakes. That sounds cruel. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. So serious. Jesus. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. Great. Aaron. Hello? Uh uh. Guy? Girl, you tripping. Get get back in the room. No uh. We we don't we don't try to look for yeah, exactly, put your headphones on. We're not going there and investigating. Oh my god, we are investigating. Lord help us. Why are we doing this? What the a book? Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety by Professor JP Hunter. Professor J.P. Hunter is an author and counselor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attacks. Within this book, this book, you will find a step-by-step -step guide designed to give you the tools you'll need to find a path out of the maze of anxiety. Following a unique monthly plan, you'll learn anxiety-busting tips and tricks to incorporate into your busy daily life. Professor J.P. Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties and given them the confidence they need to break down walls and tackle their demons face on. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Weird placement. <laughs> breathing techniques for emergencies. In earlier chapters, we looked at how abnormal breathing can help build resilience against anxiety. Practicing techniques such as Tumo or Pranayama for just 20 minutes a day has been shown to build buffer against stress over time. But sometimes when sudden anxiety or panic attacks suck in, you need quicker techniques for that moment. This is what we'll be exploring the five for five find a seat that's as comfortable as possible and loosen any restrictive clothing breathe in gently through your nose for five seconds try to breathe into your stomach but don't worry if you can't breathe out through your mouth for five as if you were blowing out a candle repeat this for five minutes until you begin to feel calmer some people find it helpful to picture a relaxing environment whilst they breathe i like to imagine floating through space discovering new planets from far away from earth what might your relaxing environment be? Five minutes. Picture something relaxing. Or just put your headphones on. Interesting. What? Not us eavesdropping. Oh, what's this? Oh, premonition time! Oh! Okay, so someone might stab me in the face. Last I checked, we were eavesdropping in our conversation. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. The hell? 
The execution of H.H. H. Holmes. Is there a camera in there? That looks like a camera slip. God damn. Nah, we need to take these headphones off. Bruh, stop it. These noises need to stop. The rooms are changing. I'm scared, I'm confused, I'm lost. All the doors are locked. There's too many noises going on. Lord, why do I get to feel I'm walking to my death? <laughs> oh, shit, I was not ready for that. <laughs> Nope. Ma'am. What happened to the lights? Turn Bruh. Bruh. I'm not built for this shit. I don't like this. God, stop. I don't want to run to, in case. Girl, I would hop out this window head first. Do me a favor, can you, can we close the door? Close the door. It's a recording. <laughs> Stop it! Damn it! <sighs> it's too hot for this shit. Oh god, we're in the dark. We're in the dark. Girl, we might die. Oh god. Girl, you're trying to kill yourself. Breakers. Did the door just lock? Ugh. Ugh, I hate it here. Oh, at least I got a flashlight. So it says to turn the power back on. Girl, why'd you turn off your flashlight? I can't see. P.F. Richardson, Will and Life Insurance Specialist? Easter Lighthouse eligible, Lake eligible. Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A, co a coda seal has been added, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belk Be Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for your records. Please remember you can view any of your will of life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. Jessica Maxwell, handwritten signature. For next security corporation, twelve da, 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 name Ned Yoke. Invoice zero four five one. Digital lock. Hmm. Authorization for emergency services. I confirm that the authority to order the security components it itemized above, and that the supplier is absolved from any and all claims resulting from the installation or use of its equipment. 
0451. So that must be to a security box. What is it? 0451? Oh. I think that was it. Hey. Okay, this. Thank God, something from this century. Oh goody! Now I got to play with this thing again. To equip the multimeter. All right. So let's see. Okay, so let's try a different approach then. So, bop. I've had to wire the system on itself due to the blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. And, hey, I did it. Surprisingly. Huh, <sighs> let there be light. Excuse me? Oh, goody. In a storm, no less. Love that. <sighs> Who the hell is humming? Oh, hell no. I can't. Mm, mm. God damn it. Of course we have to. Bang. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, there'll be no ooing and aahing right now, sir. You need to shut that shit down. I feel like this is a bad idea. The hell? Oh God, I get my own personal concert. Jesus, fix it. You better hit that note, though. Okay. I wasn't feeling you before, but then you started to put a little ooh and ah in there. Ooh. Oh, Lord. How are you looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. Jesus, fix it. This looks great. Very gaslight. If we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Uh, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. Where's everyone else? Let's get approving. Try to build a positive hey, work environment. thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. <laughs> oh! What the hell? Oh, Aaron. Maybe Aaron? That sounded like an Aaron. Can we please not split up? Oh God. Hey, hey, help! Oh, somebody help me! Sis, you need to break it, break down the door. Nah, no, um, this couldn't please, be me. Please. Aaron. Instructive. I, I, I can't get the door open. Get me out. Okay, We're right here. Uh, uh, panicky. I'm in a dark room. Oh, God. Sis, calm down. Calm down. Oh, God. I'm panicking. Uh. I need my hair left. Don't tell me I'm, this this child is gonna die from an asthma attack. What's your room number? I hurry. Hurry. Where's the room? Next to mine. Down the long hallway to you. Insecure. Insecure. Try to breathe slow and easy. All this dust. How do I do that? We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Girl, she's gonna pass out. One, two, three. Calm. Relax. One, two, it's a dire situation. Three. I know. Just relax. Slow down. Break through this thing. Stop flipping out. Guys, I, I, I can't. 
Girl, honey, calm down. Oh, T stop it, ghost! Damn him. Who's there? Oh lord, this. <gasps> lord, this is how I die. What do I do? Give me a prompt. Give me something. Someone's in here. Let them know. I, I, guys, guys, somebody is in here. Let Wait, them know someone's me. here. Oh God. If they, if you die, the least they know. Yes, I'm panicky. I'm about to die. Oh. Do what? I don't trust him. We attacking. Uh. Was that the right thing to do? Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up! No! Don't do it. God damn it! Ah! Uh, I should have just took the inhaler. Shit! Man, damn! Fuck! She's dead. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Man, damn. Where, Where is she? I don't think so. Aaron? So Aaron. much for keeping the lesbians alive. I should have just took the inhaler, but I did not trust him. Ah. Oh. There you are. I wonder how Jamie will take the news. Just when they seem to recognize how they felt about it. Man, don't remind me. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. As one person's already I dead. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. <laughs> Who are you telling? In some ways, I envy you. Huh. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. 